up if you with it drop it yo what's going on youtube this is your boy big play slay here coming back with another video and in today's video it's gonna be a video talking to you guys about the top five performers of this week and we already did last week the five um it was, i think it was aj brown i know jefferson was up in there um stefan diggs no, not Stephon Diggs, Josh Allen, um, Devontae Adams, and Saquon Barkley. Yeah, um, this week, completely different. We're going to do this weekly. Um, it, it was an excellent week of football, man. Excellent, excellent. With college football and the NFL. Um, a lot of crazy stuff went down, but let's get into it. First one, Tyree Kill. Hey, it, it was a wild game between them and Baltimore, man. And Tyreek Hill was one of the reasons uh, that they were in that game. You don't put a fifth-round rookie cornerback on him and Jalen Armand Davis. You just don't do that if you're the Ravens defensive coordinator. Um, McDonald, I always forget his first name, but you don't want to do that. There's no reason for you to do that. And if anything, you should play, like, really deep zone. So they don't get a lot of yards off that and just keep them in one spot. You don't want to play like really, really close or else, you know, that speed's going to burn you because look, I have two really fast receivers and how are you going to stop him and Jalen Waddle, the penguin? Like, it's just not fair. You got a cheetah and a penguin just burning you like it. It's crazy. Tyreek Hill was just going off. 11 receptions, two touchdowns, 190 yards. Um, great game from him. Now, number two is his teammate, Tua Tungvaluwa. I'm Tua, 36 for 50, 469 yards, six touchdowns, two interceptions. He, he definitely, like, made a lot of heads turn um, and start realizing, like, He's not that bad. Like, yeah, that secondary was... I don't know why they took Marlon Humphrey out, but um, he could have had an injury and whatnot. But Marcus Peters was in that secondary. Marcus Williams, uh, Kyle Hamilton, really high-graded safety. Um, yeah, bro. I, Tua played really, really well, and he played a really good front. Really good front, man. Justin Houston's pretty good. Um, yeah, and Patrick Queen is in that defense. Like, the, the Ravens' defense this go, going into this season, man, we didn't think it was going to be no joke, man. They they didn't play really well. And just two of, two of people, people said he wasn't going to live up to standards. Like, so far, he's, per, like, performing really, really well. And, you know, the pieces around him are helping him with Mike McDaniels coming in and Tyree Hill. But him just, like, progressing as a quarterback and learning the new offense and taking command as a leader and as the quarterback of the Dolphins, like, you got to respect how he's playing right now. Um, and I think he's only going to get better, man. Uh, we'll see what happens down the line, though. But yeah, Tua Tua played really really well. He he definitely earns the spot. Um, when it comes down to it, I don't want to repeat players on the same list, so that's probably why they have Josh Allen on this list. But he he played good too. I'll give him his respect. He did really really well. Um, my next player is yeah. No, I'm gonna be biased with this one, but I have to. I'm sorry with the way Darius Slay played. He played really well. Um, mind you, this is against one of the best receivers in the game this is not no slouch justin jefferson in my eyes is a top five a wide receiver um and slay held him to one catch for five yards six of those targets came to him um not all of them were against jefferson but the man had like five pass breakups two interceptions he could have had five interceptions, to be quite honest with you, in this game. Um, and he 0.0, .0 passer rating allowed on. Uh, the man played really, really well. Uh, that's the least you can say. But it's it was against one of the best 
wide receiving units in the league. And Slay just made them look foolish, man. Uh, Jefferson just couldn't do anything against Slay. And it's been proven before. You can lock up Justin Jefferson. You can lock up both the receivers from LSU um, and him and Jamar Chase. Like, Jamar Chase literally just got locked down by Trayvon Diggs this week. And Jefferson just got locked down by uh, Slay. Uh, That's another performance. Trayvon Diggs, he played really well, too. Like, I'll give him his props. I'm not going to be biased. That man played really, really well against a top five wide receiver, too. But, again, Slay playing a better receiver, in my opinion. Um, and he, he locked him down completely. He took him out the game. Yeah, you could blame Kirk Cousins, but at the end of the day, he blamed himself on one of those routes. Uh, he said he should have gone flat, so Slay should not have been um, behind him. Uh, but, yeah, man, that's that's a really good performance from Slay. Now, next player is Stephon Diggs. 12 receptions, 148 yards, three touchdowns. Man played really, really well. Josh Allen was performing too, like I mentioned earlier. Um, and, and it's just not fair that this offense is this offense. Like, and Gabriel Davis wasn't even playing. And they put 40 points on Tennessee. Tennessee is going to be bad this year. Um, I regret anything I said about them uh, having a close game with Buffalo. Uh, that aged really, really well. Um, I'm not going to do that again. Buffalo is just a very dominant team at the moment, and you don't want to face them, especially if you're a team like Kansas City Chiefs, um, which they're going to have to play you guys very, very soon. Um, But yeah, Stephon Diggs, this is exactly why you don't put undrafted rookie cornerbacks on really good receivers. You just don't want to do that to them. First of all, not only that will ruin their uh, confidence, but it's just going to, like, play with their mind. Like, a couple years back, James Bradbury got killed by Julio Jones. That just killed his mind, man. So this is exactly the reason you don't want to put undrafted rookie corners on really good receivers that have played for really freaking long. And Stephon Diggs just torched the dude. Um, you don't want to guard him on a post corner route. Because Josh Allen can sling it. And Ken Dorsey is as good of a play caller or maybe even better than Brian Dabble. Because clearly this offense is clicking. They play good against the Rams and the Titans. And they got a a, a really good game coming up with against the, uh, the Dolphins. But next player and the final player of the game or the video. I said game. Um, Aaron Jones. I mean, Aaron Jones. The reason I put him over Nick Chubb in this one is, I don't know. I feel like with the way the Bears were playing, I thought the Bears were playing a lot better than the Jets, in my opinion. Um, and I felt like he played the best. I mean, you could, it's really close. The Bears and the Jets are really close. Um, but 15 carries, 30 receptions, um, 132 yards rushing, one touchdown, yeah, one touchdown rushing, um, one touchdown receiving, 38 yards receiving, uh, just a really, really good game from him. Um, but yeah, I thought he played the better team, uh, than Nick Chubb. I thought Nick Chubb played really, really well too. Um, and it's crazy because Nick Chubb only had like 87 yards with like three touchdowns. I don't know how that works, but when you're playing the Jets, expect a lot of that. Um, but yeah, Aaron Jones, I feel like with him, it's just the versatility. He played better than Nick Chubb. Like, yeah, Nick had three of them touchdowns, but for this separate week, I'm going to give it to Aaron Jones because of the fact that the receptions receiving also matter as a run. I mean, it doesn't matter because you expect to run, but receiving for running backs nowadays are big. Uh, and he played really well rushing uh, against a pretty solid defense. So, yeah, man, this is the end of this video. Um, I know this Browns game is about to start, so I'll definitely go watch that. Y'all have a good one. Um, what do you guys think of this video? Who are your top five performers? 
um yeah i am out y'all have a safe and blessed day we out y'all have a good one